So our mission statement says to prepare students for a life of consequence in the kingdom of God. When you come to secondary, I believe it especially becomes even more important because they are getting ready to step out into the world. And that's where you start seeing the fruits of what has happened. Both of our children attended Shalom from kindergarten through 12th grade. This school just really stood out to us because of the atmosphere as we walked through the school. We definitely were looking for our Christian values to be reinforced at school. They could see what it was like to live like Christ. Shalom is academically rigorous, but they both chose colleges that also are academically rigorous, so they needed that preparation. You do work hard, but you have something to show for all that effort and the teachers are very invested in these uh, students' lives here. Being a high school student at Shalom is really fun and it's a great environment and everyone wants to see you be the best you can be and I think that's great because it's not just the faculty and the teachers but also the students as well. I think that Shalom prepares me well for life after high school. I think that they challenge you. That's definitely helpful because when you go to college things will definitely be harder and Adjusting to that may not be as difficult if you've been pushed a little farther in your time while you've been here. The way we prepare a foundation for students is by making sure that what we're teaching in the classroom is relevant to what's happening in the outside world. So we do try to connect academics to real life situations and real life problems that they may come across. Our seniors have a requirement of a cross-cultural experience. One of the choices that they have is to go on the senior missions trip. When students go on missions trip, it does give them a different experience from the world outside of Franklin County. Because even though we may see poverty here, it isn't to the level that you would see it in these other areas. So when you go to another country, you get to see the privileges that we have that they don't get to enjoy. Uh, going into Guatemala, into villages where there is no running water, and what a shock that is to our students. You just can't turn on the faucet and take a shower or um, go to the sink and wash your hands, but it is very primitive living. So those are stark realities of what people live through in other areas. And again, we say cross-cultural because in our country, there can be some very uh, devastating living conditions as well. Uh, Shalom has lots of opportunities to build camaraderie amongst the students, having smaller classes. They really get to know each other. Our kids have made friends for life from Shalom. Uh, our son and daughter are both still very connected to some of their classmates. There's a really strong connection between the teachers and the students here, and they don't get lost because they're not large classes. So each one can get individualized attention, and that's so important during those challenging years. One of the benefits of a smaller school is that you can look at students' interests. You can help tailor them, you can help customize them. Our teachers are interested in making sure our students are prepared, but they also at the same time make connections with students to make sure that they're walking alongside them to be successful in those academics. It's great having relationships with the teachers because there's not too large of classes, so you can really get to know the teachers and they actually care about you succeeding and they want you to do well. You really only get a chance to raise your children once. You don't get a do-over, and so whatever choices you make, really you need to let God be in the driver's seat. What you get back is priceless. You have children who are ready to go out into the world and really have lives that are lives of consequence, and they will impact the world.